Number 15. Write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient, which is QC for each of the following reactions. And then I have this formula right here. So I have to find the QC for CH4 gas plus 2O2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with CO2 gas plus 2H2O liquid. Now there's a very generalized formula for QC, the reaction quotient, which I will put right here. You guys might have seen it by now. QC, C stands for concentration. So we're going to be using concentration values, and those are represented by putting it in brackets. And remember, concentrations is the same thing as molarity. But all that a QC formula is, is just products divided by reactants. Now, when we do this, all we have to do is just raise those products or reactants by their coefficient numbers. And remember, the coefficient numbers are the big guys, the big numbers in the front of the compounds. Now, before we even write our formula, let's just go over the rules. There are two states that are allowed in the QC formula. Aqueous, which is AQ, and gas. Those are the only two states that are allowed. No solids, so no S's, and no liquids, so no L's. Let's look at our states. I got a gas, I got a gas, I got a gas, and I got a liquid. That's an L. Can you tell me which one of these is not allowed in the QC formula? Yeah, it's the liquid guy, right? So for this, I'm going to give a big X. You can slash through the whole compound. I don't really care, but I'm just going to put an X down here. But all the other ones, since they are gases, they are allowed. So I just put little checks here just to basically tell myself which ones I'm actually looking at. And now let's go for it. QC equals, I put that division sign already, something over something else. And now let's work from top to bottom. So I have just the CO2 that I'm looking at. I am not looking at the H2O, so I don't even care. But I have this compound. So I put it in brackets. The compound is CO2. I will close the bracket. You don't have to put the state anymore. That's just a little tedious. But now we have to say what coefficient it is, right? There was nothing, or actually let me do this in a different color. There was no number in the front of CO2. How many CO2s do I have? Yeah, I just have one. So you can raise it to the first, but technically anything to the first is the same number. So I don't really have to write that. Now, since I'm not looking at the H2O and that's the only compound, I can now go to the reactant side. I have to put both of these in my QC formula, so I'm just going to go from left to right. I put brackets. CH4 is the compound. I close the bracket. And now, what's the coefficient. Well, I didn't see one, so that's a 1. So I could put a 1 here, but we'll just keep going. Now, just know that when you have multiple um, compounds, right, I have CH4 and O2, it's going to be multiple multiplied. So you could put the multiplication sign, or you could just put the next bracket next door, but just know that those values, when we get to the math, you're going to multiply them. So the molecule is O2. Close it up. And now, what's the coefficient? Oh, there was a 2 in front of here. So I have to put a 2 up top there. So whatever the O2 number was is going to be uh, just, you know, raising it to the second power or squaring it. And that's it. This is your mathematical expression. No solving here. We're just basically writing the formula. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates. Uh, maybe we can help them out too. We also have physics and math videos on the channel, so go check it out. All right? I will see you guys all in later lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.